A long time ago, a legendary king named Arthur ruled Britain. The people of Britain loved their king dearly, and his knights of the round table served as advisors and protectors of the kingdom. King Arthur's queen was a beautiful woman named Guinevere with hair as red as fire and skin as fine as porcelain. King Arthur treated his wife with utmost respect, and Guinevere was a faithful wife to the king, but alas, love knows no boundaries, and it sometimes blossoms at the worst possible place. Sir Lancelot, the bravest knight of the round table, and a close companion of the king, had always had feelings for the queen, but what kind of a knight would he be if he were to fall for the wife of his king? The queen also felt the same way, but what kind of a queen would she be if she were to turn her back on her king? The two's love did not advance beyond fleeting glances until the abduction of the beautiful queen by Maligant, the evil knight. When Sir Lancelot learnt of this treachery, rage consumed his heart and he rushed to Maligant's castle to save his beloved queen. Afraid of the king's wrath, Maligant begged the queen for forgiveness, and Guinevere pardoned him, as she was more concerned about the dormant flames of love that had awakened in her heart after being rescued by the brave knight. Unable to resist her feelings anymore, she asked Sir Lancelot to meet her outside the window of her chamber at night. The two found solace in each other's embrace, but sometimes, love demands too much. Theirs was a forbidden love, and for that, they had to pay dearly. Rumors of the two's affair was starting to spread in the castle, and if it were to be true, it would tear the castle apart. King Arthur's nephew, Mordred, who wished to seize the throne for himself, arranged a group of knights to burst into Guinevere's chamber at night, and they discovered the two lying in the queen's bed. Sir Lancelot fled the room, but Guinevere was captured and condemned to be burnt at the stake. But how could Sir Lancelot let the love of his life die, as he himself became a vagrant, wandering the earth without a purpose? There was no honor in that life, and Sir Lancelot did not want to be remembered as a knight who lost his honor. He decided to rebel against the king, and return back to the castle after convincing his fellow knights to join his cause. The knights of the round table were in shambles now, and no one was left to protect King Arthur as his reign was being threatened by his nephew, Mordred, and also by his best knight, Sir Lancelot. However, Lancelot was too late. Mordred's rebellion was a success, and Arthur's court was no more. Guinevere's life had been spared, but she was convinced that the downfall of her husband was her own fault. She sought a life of reclusion as a nun at Amesbury to atone for her sins, and Lancelot, having lost the love of his life, decided to follow her example, and devote himself to religious service as a monk until his death. 